tell me when you're in. Go ahead. What's going on? Uh, you're doing uh, 60 Seconds of Freedom uh, for the second time now. Did it back on the 4th of July, doing it now uh, today for uh, Labor Day. And people probably wonder what it is that we're actually trying to do. Uh, we're hoping to come into contact with people while we're out here. As you can see, we have cars coming down the street. We're not worried uh, about it. But we're not worried about them. Uh, we'll move out the way so they can pass by. Sure. Uh, watch the phone. Uh, basically what it is that we're trying to, uh, to promote here um, is just we can see that there's a lot of issues that are, that are going on uh, right now. We know that other people are uh, becoming awake to this situation too as well. Uh, this is just a peaceful way to get out there and to just connect uh, with your neighbors, uh, connect on the uh, on the community level. Um, Common unity. Because really that's where it starts. Um, because you will constantly hear people talking about we dislike what the politicians are doing, we dislike how the system is being run, and we talk about negativity until we're blue in the face, but this is really more of an opportunity to actually get out there and to do something about it. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, it's free to do. Uh, we're allowed to do this as, uh, as free Americans. Um, you know, it, the point is, is just that bumper stickers and t-shirts are, are not going to, uh, to, to jumpstart the revolution. Uh, what, what is going to jumpstart the revolution is people actually doing things um, that that they want to do uh, that that's no cost and that will the revolution be televised? Uh, the revolution is most likely not going to be televised <laughs> by uh, by the major uh, by the major uh, corporate companies uh, and Fox <laughs> News and NBC, MSNBC, CNN, and all those guys. So we can't turn into ABC and no, no, probably okay. not going to happen that way. Um, however, uh, doing it this way with the person-to-person -person type of relationship um, is is what's really going to have an impact. Um, as you can see. People kind of almost get the hell doing. Woo! Yeah, tough guy. Not too many, uh, not too many people will stop and ask. Uh, we're hoping to come into contact with some people to, to spread the word of a of a peaceful uh, way to go about doing uh, and, and starting this revolution. But um, I don't know. Any of you guys want to say anything? Druma. Yeah. Uh, we know he wants to say something. Yeah. Start off by saying, "How's it going out there, YouTube? You got some heavy traffic coming down here now." Um, this is uh, Druma1313 on, YouTube, on yeah. YouTube and Nick, your Nick Voice 1. Nick Voice 11. Nick Voice 11, great number. Okay. So we started off here, we're just enjoying some uh, coconut date banana smoothies. I think people actually enjoyed them. Uh, four of us here. Loved them. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, but straight up, this event here, this is my second time doing it. Uh, I guess our next one is going to be Thanksgiving, we're saying. So, I mean, basically what we're doing is. Uh, Doing something different to uh, make people think. Not that that'll necessarily work, but eh, it's a step in the right direction. That's what I talk about in my channel. Just, just different ways to get people to think. I think that's uh, pretty pretty important. If you're not thinking, what's that big old brain there for? So, you know, there really is no uh, there's no there's no answer. People always want like a quick uh, 30 second to a minute answer. Well, why are you doing this? You know, what do you hope to accomplish? Well, that's the point of it, is what we're looking to do is to accomplish something. We're just looking to take action, and that's the point of it, is just taking action to, to, to actually do something, to meet with the people at the community level, because I could come up with a plan all day long and have points and, and, and highlight and underline and everything like that, but it's not going to go anywhere if we're not connected with each other on a community level. So just doing something as simple as this, um, with as little time as it takes, um, really can, uh, can make a huge difference. Um, especially if we're coming into contact with uh, with people who have the same uh, same kinds of ideals and the same kinds of views, and who, who are recognizing now uh, more than ever that um, you know there does need to be a, a change that gets uh, that gets brought upon and that isn't going to happen with the uh, the Obama campaign. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully anybody that's watching this video will get into contact with some of us. Uh, we have more people around the country, uh, around the world, that are doing the same thing. Uh, that did it back on the Fourth of July, and um, you know we just hope to keep continually uh, growing it. And hey, we don't want to start to walk out here and see people flooding out the streets, but hopefully one day in the near future, uh, you know, that may happen because of what we started uh, looking like lunatics doing it. But. And that's the thing. This isn't about having a protest or doing anything like that. It's just kind of getting some community going. But the thing Nick said, it's all about working to get her. I say working to get her, Ma, back in balance with this masculine, this one world, patriarchal, hierarchical structure that's one energy. It's a masculine energy. That's why we see phalluses all over the place. So, it's working together because nobody can do this alone. You can't, there's going to be no Jesus Christ savior figure that's going to come and save any, everybody. It's about working together to get her ma the 
this sacred feminine energy back in balance with this male patriarchal energy, the male and the female in balance, you know, and uh, yeah, the way you do that is you work to get her to build this common unity, as you guys said. And, uh, you know, we're, we're starting to see this not only in a physical level here in our actual neighborhoods, but also via the Internet when you're coming in contact with subscribers, friends, people on YouTube, Facebook, whatever. And you start exchanging ideas. And even though that's not in a physical sense, you are building a community just by sharing ideas and information with people. And uh, that's some pretty powerful stuff, really. That's what this is, age of information is all about. So let's use this technology and things to our advantage and uh, you know nothing violent nothing like that but straight up just uh, low, low resistance is always a good thing you know tips for uh, the audience out there ma'am um, this is my first time doing 60 seconds to freedom um, I hope next time there will be more people coming along with us to uh, walk down the middle of the road and basically be free yeah. you guys want to put me on there just yeah, for a second definitely yeah, I mean, my only tips into the additions, yeah, additional tips to work well, the artist. Why don't we come stand out in the street here I'll while we're doing this? Let's get your idea. Is, um, you know, peaceful revolution. It, it's got to be peaceful. It can't be aggressive. There's no external enemies. There's nothing to be angry about. The people who are angry, you really just got to look inside and see, you know, where's this anger stemming from? Um, you know, look within yourself and find peace. That, that's one. Uh, but I think the biggest thing we can do is uh, be globally non-compliant to the system. The system's the problem. The, the system stems. The shit stems. The <laughs> system's the oppressor. Like, you know, the military's not the oppressor. The Muslims aren't the oppressors. The oppressor, you are the oppressor. Yeah, and, and we're, we're our personal oppressors too, but the system is truly uh, the oppressor because we are the ones that are empowering the system. We're the ones that enable the system to persist. We give it its power. We give it its energy. We exactly. all are completely compliant to it. So that's why I say global non-compliance to the system. And then, of course, um, in a company with that, it's self-sustainability. It's self-sustainability. Grow your own food, you know, drinking clean water, eating healthy, you know, truly being the change you wish to see in the world, which comes from, you know, you are what you eat. Your vibration, you you are, you are carry that vibration. Your vibration, your energy is everything. So that's why uh, making conscious lifestyle choices, like not consuming as much alcohol and things like that, um, are excellent decisions. And... Uh, yeah, oh, and then of course the um, the spread of information is vital, as Nick touched on, and, and that's what we really need to, do, need to do, and that's what we're doing here, is spreading information, truthful information, and not getting divided. You know, I think I think the Illuminati's biggest strategy are these divide and conquer strategies. We're all being divided, uh, choosing boxes, you know, I'm a leftist, I'm a rightist, I'm a liberalist. I'm a Democrat, I'm you a know, Republican. Whatever, and that's all divide. I mean, if we can just truly come together and realize that, um, we all um, have, have a lot of things in common, and like it just—that's the power. It's all about powers and numbers. It's not about saying, you know, I'm a, I'm a nationalist um, Republican American, and you know, fuck the Muslims and all that shit. So that's it. Cool. Yeah, it's just about being open-minded. All right, we'll post this up, and hopefully, uh... free your mind from the Matrix, and we'll see you guys next time. We'll see you is on. My favorite holiday, it's really my least favorite holiday, but it's Thanksgiving, and I'm saying this year, honor the Native Americans and the people who have kept this land a beautiful place for thousands of years, you know, honor those people that these, this white man stole this country from, and, and that's all I'm all about this Thanksgiving, and that's what I'll be talking about this Thanksgiving, and I, and I look forward to doing that with you all again. Sounds great. Hey, another thing, let's talk about the system, I mean, people talk about supporting the system and non-compliance to the system, but what are we really talking about here? Let's think about the corporations that are really behind the system. Let's look at the petroleum industry. Let's look at people driving all these cars around. Big Pharma. Yeah, I mean, Big Pharma is another one. The Pharma suit I kill, med I kill, chem I kill, industrial complex. They are, they are in big time relation with this, bar, with this uh, petroleum industry. So, I mean, we got to check that. You don't want to support these companies. You don't want to go out and buy pills. You don't want to go out and buy a lot of gasoline or fill up your SUV. Let's start about, let's talk about getting on bicycles, having fun in the sun, exercising a little bit, moving our bodies. That's a practical solution for people out there. And uh, that'll take care of your obesity epidemic and all that. So uh, straight up, um, the truth is always simple. So, uh, you know, we don't need complexity and any of that. We need straight up simplicity. So Getting in contact with nature and instead of, and getting our higher consciousness 
as opposed to staying inside. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> and instead of uh, just 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 going out and uh, you know playing your Xbox all day, go outside and actually look at the world for what it is. But uh, we're going over about 10 minutes here, but hopefully uh, this will spark the revolution. Uh, yeah. Uh, at least on a small scale is what uh, is what we're hoping for that will grow, I guess. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, the revolution. What is the revolution? The revolution is in the mind, people. The revolution is in the mind. So this is talking about the revolution of the mind. It's you know it's done within you, and then by changing the way you look at the world, the your world. Your perception of reality. Your perception of reality, exactly. That's how the world really changes. Change your vibration. Yeah. So. Mm.